J.K. Rowling has established herself oh, as one of the most prominent anti-trans mouthpieces on the planet. The Ow. character creator and that cannot change the fact that the author of these books remains the proprietor of the Harry Potter intellectual property. If purchasing this video game feels like a tacit endorsement of Rowling's retrograde worldview, nobody can say you're wrong. Perhaps these are the themes Hogwarts Legacy intends to deal with. How did Crucio become unforgivable anyways? Some of the finishing moves equipped by character were similarly macabre. After chart- I'm truly mad that you did not tell me that this was happening. Ladies and gentlemen, we got brand new Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. Drop a thumbs up if you're buying this game. Dislike if you're not. I want to see how many of you are into it. And I'm high, brothers. Let's check it out. Yo. We do Apparently not live so in a world rich with great Harry Potter games. Nobody harbors warm feelings for the horde of chintzy, cynical movie tie-ins that plagued the PS2 and Xbox during the mid-2000s. Mm. So, when Portkey Games unveiled the big-budget Hogwarts Legacy in 2020, it was clear that the studio was aiming spectacularly high with its interpretation of Harry Potter. After a two-hour hands-on, I can say with confidence that the wizarding world has rarely looked better. The lilting charm- Two hours?! Two hours?! cockeyed whimsy and high fantasy hijinks of Hogwarts Legacy is rendered with dogmatic servitude to the books, while the combat and exploration, the game part of this video game, is robust enough to rope in more casual fans of the fiction. Unfortunately, it's all Yo, I'm actually really hyped for the boss fights. Like, I'm a massive God of War fan, and seeing that dragon there, it kind of reminded me of God of War 2018. One, if that reminded you too, and one, if you want to see, like, crazy, crazy boss fights in this one. Because those of you that are fans of God, uh, God of War and um, Elden Ring, I, I feel like that if they have those elements in it too, it's going to be perfect. And of course, if you're a Harry Potter fan, then sheesh! Happening at the exact moment the world is reconsidering their lifelong ties to one of the greatest stories ever told. Let's get it! If you haven't been keeping up with the information drip, Hogwarts Legacy takes place in the late 19th century, and therefore it operates independently from some of the more familiar touchstones of Potter lore. No Voldemort- I've seen- I've seen some of you guys say that it should have been after 1800s, it should have been after like the actual Harry Potter movies, right? And I kind of agree with that, but I'm also kind of happy that that at least the game is happening, right? It's finally like a full-fledged game. And you never know, maybe in 10 years from now, 20 years from now, they can come out with a game that's like present time or after or in the future or something like that. I would love that for sure, for sure. No Dumbledore, no multitude of Weasley surnames. You play oh, no as a Weasleys? fifth year transfer student that will be built with a potent character creator, denoting complexion, hair color, eyebrow shading, and yes, body types, vocal tenor, and the choice to be referred to as either a witch or a wizard. Afterwards, you yeah, so you're telling me you can change your voice like that, goddamn! Will be quickly implanted directly into the day-to-day -day scholastic rhythms of Hogwarts. <laughs> My time with the game was brokered into two major sections: a treacherous story chapter where I was asked to both oh, infiltrate snap. and destabilize a nefarious dragon cockfighting ring, and oh, a dulcet shit. afternoon on the castle grounds. Oh, I solved shit. side quests, played mini games, and soaked in the persona-like splendor of simply hanging out at school. The combat was Bro. the highlight for me, which I was not expecting. In previous Potter games, the Quicksilver wizard clashes of the books are reduced to dull, rote, third-person shooting galleries. Harry, Ron, and Hermione taking on an endless series of identical Death Eaters who all seem to brandish magical facsimiles of shotguns and... Man, this game is gonna be insane. I'm. Um, wh what are some of the first things you guys are looking to do? Play the story only, or go around the map and figure stuff out? What What are you guys looking to do? And how many of you are buying this game because you're a Harry Potter fan? How many of you are just like looking at this and you're like, bro, this looks cool and I want to buy it? And how many of you are like, bro, I gotta prove the book, my bro. I gotta buy the game for that reason. Let me know, man. And sniper rifles. Hogwarts Legacy changes the formula considerably. Despite the projectiles ricocheting back and forth across the arenas, the game functions more like a Ninja Gaiden-esque combo masher. Your character automatically locks onto wherever they're facing, and the Hocus Pocus that comes cascading out of your wand can be chained Bruh. together like a screen-filling, health bar-obliterating Marvel vs. Capcom tsunami. Game director what? Alan 2 compares the system to a sort of long-range dueling. Your arsenal is mapped to the face buttons, and after messing around with the controls for a few minutes, I was able to come up with some wild, improvised concoctions. I'd Leviosa- I- okay, that's cool and all, but how much of a rating you're gonna give this game? Are you gonna give it 2 out of 10? I- <laughs> IGN, are you gonna do that or something? <laughs> I wanna know it, I wanna Pull my know. enemy into the air, tag them with some basic filler casts, pull them in close with an Akio before setting them aflame with the Incendio. 
The physics engine absolutely revels in your chaos. Bodies Damn. fly across the map like they've become weightless and boneless at the mercy of your command. Harry Potter video games have tried and failed to replicate the fiction's unique take on spellcasting for decades. Yep. Portkey seems to have technology, guys. Technology established a structure that will likely be aped for years to come. My stint wandering around- I I'm just hoping that all of this square, triangle, type of like smaller fights like that, I, I really hope they do not become repetitive. I just hope that the story, that's- I wanna- I wanna see the story be good. Because if the story is not good, all else will fail. Yeah, gameplay is good, game is looking good, it's looking alright, the graphics are alright. They're pretty good, they're not the craziest, they're not the worst, they're pretty good, I would- I would say that. They're pretty standard for this day. Could have been a little bit better, but- but- but they are looking pretty good, I'm- I got no complaints. So, but if you if you want to critique the graphics because I've seen some of you say that graphics are looking bad Graphics are looking the best. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's pretty much all right The story is what matters here folks the story come on <laughs> Come on man the story is what uh, the, the main thing man the story Found Hogwarts thing. itself wasn't quite as exciting as my trip to the dragon's den my character enjoyed a peaceful free roam back at home on the back of their flying broom, the Roach of Hogwarts Legacy, where they poked around nooks and crannies of the castle, soaking up collectibles, deciphering basic puzzles, and completing the menial tasks assigned to me by my classmates. One of them accidentally put a charm on her books that caused them to flutter around in the air. I Akioed them back into her possession. Outside, in a courtyard, yeah, I joined a round of what can only be described as wizard's curling. My adversary and I used our wands to usher a set of leather balls down a wooden platform. The closer they got to the edge without falling off, the more points- I, I, I've seen some of your guys' comments and I, I agree with that. This game should also have the option for co-op. A lot of people want multiplayer. A lot of people are cool without it. I personally don't care if there is multiplayer, then that's actually really good. But if it, if it doesn't, then that means that they're going to be focusing all their attention on the story, and that's good. But if there is a co-op to it, then you can play the campaign with co-op, and it's just going to be more entertaining. And you obviously got games like that, and that's what sparked the idea. So if there is co-op, it can be really good. Thoughts? WL opinion? Let me know. Sweet score. These distractions were pretty lightweight. Portkey didn't allow us to delve into, say, potions class or a meaty yep. side quest digression, which left me hoping that Hogwarts Legacy will include some finer character Yo, modes. Yo, damn, she do be looking like a snack, bruh. Like, I, I mean, listen, man, she looking kind of 1800 snack. <laughs> 1800 snack, bruh. I'm telling you, outside of the core campaign. Let us broker a genuine camaraderie with the other Keep denizens the of the street. school. A Harry Potter game can only hit its marks if, by the end of the runtime, we're willing to lay down our lives for a kindly groundskeeper or an eccentric headmaster. It should also be said that Hogwarts Legacy appears to be swimming in the darker edges of the canon. It oh, was damn. shocking to see that one of the spells on my combat hotbar was... There it is, ladies and gentlemen! Shocking! It was jarring! It was too much! Too controversial! This is why we gotta give it 0 out of 10! We're not that strong, but we wanna be strong, independent, strong, independent, and you're always wrong! wrong. I am telling y'all, man, like, if it's, it's good! If it's dark, it's actually good! Crucio, better known to the layman as the Torture Spell, which inflicts searing white-hot pain in its target. In the Harry Potter universe, Crucio is one of the three unforgivable curses, a huge no-no. Oh, Perhaps these are the themes Hogwarts Legacy intends to deal with. How did Crucio become unforgivable anyways? Some of the finishing moves equipped to my character were similarly macabre. After char- up a meter and tapping the two shoulder buttons, my avatar could reduce a rival wizard into a pile of sooty Looney Tunes dust. The Harry Potter what? books are centered around the purity of teenage friendship, so it is weird to watch a fifth year take a life. Again, maybe Hogwarts Legacy is- uh, uh, Bro, what? IGN? It's just- IGN. It's just a game, dog. It's just a game. to explore Bumble some of those God. questions. On first brush, though, it's pretty jarring. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh my God. See what I was saying? See what I was saying? I knew it's so predictable. They said the same with Modern Warfare 2019. It was jarring, and my guy be like, Bum oh my God. Bum God. Bum captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Oh, of course, anyone who chooses to play Hogwarts Legacy must contend with all sorts of contradictions. 
most of which are far more important than the usual dissonance we tend to find in video games. J.K. Rowling has established herself oh, as one of the most prominent anti-trans mouthpieces on the planet. The character creator in Hogwarts Legacy offers a huge amount of gender diversity, but that cannot change the fact that the author of these books remains the proprietor of the Harry Potter intellectual property. If purchasing this video game feels like a tacit endorsement of Rowling's retrograde worldview, nobody can say you're wrong. I spoke with Alan too about these questions during my visit, and you can read the results of our conversation on IGN, but you're not likely to find a clean answer to those concerns. It looks like we're finally getting a good Harry Potter game. Okay. Shouldn't okay. it feel better than this? For more on Hogwarts... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, recently a dev also talked about the multiplayer. He did say some things that I feel like it's important. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because this Karen goes bozo, goes crazy. Click on that and I'll see you 